Oh, wow, that was the first level. Let's go. Oh, my! So we need to find three buttons like that, I think. What the heck? There's like a corpse inside of it. Feed us, we will grow. What? Feed who? Oh my god, there actually is an inside. What the fuck? It's a dog controlling the robot? The long wait is finally over. The violence layer is here. And now, let's paint the world red. This is gonna be sick. Homing projectiles may be more difficult to dodge, but they're tracking at slower speed makes... Okay. Let's do this shit. The long wait is over. Oh my god. Okay, I forgot how bright this map is. The Garden of Forking Paths. Yo, wait a minute. If I was a secret... If I was a secret... I would be hiding... On top of this cross. Nope, no luck. Okay, let's try the next one. Shit. Little rocket ride never hurt nobody. Oh, it's over here. And we are double unlucky. No secrets found. It's like the tree of life. Got the heart with the branching, the roots at the bottom. It is ridiculously bright here. Let's go inside finally. Ooh. The garden of forking paths, baby. Here's the mannequins. Let's go. Can I kill them now? Oh, reflected off of his cock. What the hell? It's got a cock made of steel. All right, here we go. Ooh, red skull. Okay, okay, we know where that's at. I feel like there's a secret around here close by that I'm missing. Whoa, okay. Can't go that way, apparently. All right, I recognize... Ooh, the book, the book, the book. The unending halls of the garden. Ah, so dutifully decorated by the cross. The symbol that angels use for the tree of life. They praise their beloved father who had planted it and filled us with the dew of its leaves and the nectar of its fruit. That which gives us life. Courses through our veins. For you, however, are truth. Our bodies are not a vessel for the blood of the fruit, but its prison. The beautiful guts and gorgeous bone yearn to be shown and seen, splayed under the divine cross of the tree of life. We pay a tribute through the art of violence. The world is your canvas, so take up your brush and paint the world red. The beautiful guts and bones yearn to be seen at the base of the tree of life. Oh my god. Oh, nice. Alpha. The door opens. What do we have going on here? Okay, okay. I thought I saw an opening in the rooftop there. Never mind. Never mind. Yo, I can't wait to start painting. Oh, shit. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? Um, sup, y'all? See you later! Holy crap, okay. They didn't do nothing. Okay, they are, uh, invulnerable, apparently. Okay, we have the red skull. We go this way. Oh my Jesus fucking Christ! <laughs> oh, shit! That scared the fuck out of me. Totally forgot about that. I watched the trailer to this shit and still forgot about that. Like, holy crap. <laughs> Jesus. Holy crap, mannequins are badass the way they can run around the rooftops and shit. Look at the red, we're painting. We are painting. By the way, I have gore and the blood stains on maximum. Just so going to get maximum artistic ability. Look at that. We even got blood way the hell down here. Okay, I swear to God. <laughs> I'm ready for you this time. Bring it on, motherfuckers. Oh, everything just fades to dark. I still am very curious as to if the color of these homing little orbs has any lore significance. 
Oof, very easy to parry. What do we got going on down here? Yo, I'm terrified these guys are going to move on me now. Oh, the blue skull. There we go. Ooh, come here, boy. What the heck was that? Oh, there's a virtue somewhere. Oh, I, hear, I heard him. I heard him. He's pissed now. What's up, boy? Okay. Wait a minute. Thought I saw it. Wait, is this a door? That looks like it could possibly be a door later. Ooh, listen to that organ. Ooh, under here? Secret? Oh, wait a minute. Yo, we got a secret right here. This has got to be one. Yep, there we go. There's one of them. Hell yeah. Okay, everything from here is uncharted territory from the, um, the little video of the map intro that Hakita released a while back. And we got more mannequins posing. What? What the hell is that? Holy crap. Holy shit. Thing looks like a bowl or something. Whatever it was, it freaking charged through like a bat out of hell. Ooh, I tried to double parry. Yo, it feels really weird trying to move around right now for some reason. Holy, these guys are so fast. Okay, there we go. Oh my god, another one. Line him up. There we go. Perfect. That was weird. It felt like I was ice skating for a second there. We got like a lower floor down here. Just a pool of blood. <laughs> Everything's turning red. Okay, that's where that bull looking creature went. Does this door open for us? It does. Oh, this is where we came from. Oh, that was that door from earlier. Okay. Let's try going this way, where the uh, the little bull guy came from. Little, I shouldn't say that, actually. Oh, we need another blue skull. Okay. Holy tree of life. Is there a secret up there, maybe? Oh, there's a skybox. Okay, we're like outside of the gar garden, I think, or we're inside of it. Did I just accidentally find this? Wait, what is this? A blue skull on the mannequin? Okay. I guess we'll... Wait. Can we put a blue skull on the mannequin from earlier? That, that's got to be a hint at something, so we got to find... Oh, there is a secret hidden out here, okay. Oh, hello. Two massive Cerberi. Oof. Big oof. Did the other one fall off the cliff? I think he did. No, he didn't. Come on, boy. Goodbye. That's cool. Okay. So we need to find that blue skull again. There we go. There it is. Yo, it said the blue... S oh, no. What the heck? It's gone. Oh, God. Oh, that's what it's telling me. The mannequins probably took it back. Can't go that way. Yeah, they probably want me to go up. 
Give me that shit, boy. Okay, I see what's going on here. Oh, wait a minute. Let's go put it on the original one and see what happens. It's got to be like freaking what they were hinting at, right? That picture was just too perfect. Unless there's a... Oh, wait a minute. It's blocked off. Did we just accidentally... Well, I wouldn't say accidentally found a secret, but I think we just found a secret. Oh, wow. What the hell is this? What the fuck is this? Oh my god! What is this thing? Whatever he is, he is fucking my shit up. Jesus Christ. Okay, here we go. He lands in one of those little pods. He looks like an army soldier. Big giant What the fuck? Okay, I'm starting to understand what his little abilities are here now. Okay, he shoots little barrage of rockets. What the heck? Is that a mine? Okay, he has like a beam. Oh my gosh. Okay, this guy is just full of explosives. The Johninator is freaking giving me the Johnson. Where you at, Bajon? Yo, he's flying! Oh my god. John can fly. Where's he at? There we go. Get wrecked, John and Nader. Yo, these have got to be... Oh, wait a minute. What is this? Ooh. Dead end after dead end. Is there really no way out? Get lost in the labyrinth, die in the battlefield, or get lost in the forest? I thought I saw a way out there. A gate covered in foliage. But even with all our strength, we couldn't get through. I doubt there's any blade sharp enough to cut the vines, and the only fire that could burn through it would need to be hot enough to melt metal. What the, what the heck? Okay. Let's test something here. Wait, are these? Okay, yep, they're mines. They're like proximity based, though. Right, is that everything back here? Yo, they look parryable. They are! That's cool. Holy crap. Oof. Yo, look at all the blood up there from whenever he was flying. Holy shit. Holy crap, that was a cool little secret. The Johninator. What the fuck? And then the music kicks back on. Oh, wait, I probably need that blue skull still, huh? I'll take that. Okay, we're back where that bull creature looking thing was. There we go. Oh, of course not. Oh my goodness. You ain't slick, boy. Okay, this looks like a good room for fighting. Oh, hello, we got a virtue. Those mannequins can kind of take a hit. I hear. Oh, another virtue. Oh, hello. Oh, God.
They are really enjoying their melee. Holy parry. There we go. He's over with. She's over with. Whatever. And a free heal. I'll take it. Okay, where's my blue skull at now? Oh. Oh, wait a minute. I've been out here before. Okay, there's the pedestal. I came from here, I believe. They didn't allow me to grab it earlier. Maybe they will now. Nope. Oh, I know what I gotta do. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. Now we're using our brain. Or at least we're good at pretending we are. Oh, here we go. Oh, God. Something wicked. Every time I get in a dark corridor like this, I always think of something wicked. Keep the shotgun at the ready. Okay, does this mean we're about to fight a boss? Oh, here's the train. Here's a little train cart. Yo, this is cool. Holy crap. Okay, I recognize this from the little video. Here, catch! Oh, I did not expect them to stop next to me. Oh, shit! No! See you later, suckers. Wait. Minotaur? Oh my gosh, I just fell to my death. Okay, so it is a boss fight, confirmed. Oh my goodness! Whoa, okay, okay, okay. He's kind of like has an armor. Yo, what is going on with this thing? <laughs> what the fuck? This is a fucked up looking minotaur, holy shit. Okay. Okay, that's undodgeable. Die, bitch! Oof. Okay. I keep fa oh, Okay, the carts are moving on me. That's why I'm getting destroyed so badly. Alright, here we go. Why is that one green like that? Is that acid? That's the first thing I'm thinking of is acid. Holy crap, that actually worked. I did not think that that would work, but it did. Oh my. What is he throwing? He's like throwing his own intestines. Oh my clutch healing. Nope. Oh my gosh, we got him. Holy crap. No, come here. I need your heal. Thank you. Holy shit, a minotaur. That thing was one fucked up looking minotaur though. It's like a human centipede minotaur hybrid. What am I hearing? Oh. Get wrecked. Oh wow, that was the first level. Let's go. Oh my goodness, Christ! What the fuck? <laughs> I knew that fight was too easy. I knew it. I got totally debated. What the fuck? Okay, it spawns me all the way back here at least. I was like, that was way too easy. And I just get fucking destroyed by the Minotaur yet again. Get 
Yo, he's a he's a he's a grumpy boy. He works just like the hideous mask though, so he's not. There we go. Get wrecked, bitch. Can I collect blood off of him? I can. There we go. Is he dead? Okay, is he dead now? All right. Beat the secret encounter. Holy shit, we actually got it. I bet you that was the Johninator guy. All right, 7-2. I believe this one is called Light Up the Night, if I remember right. Mannequins can be hard to hit due to their speed, but they lose air control when launched. Ah, or shot down from the surface, making them unable to move for a short moment. Noted. Let's do this shit. Entering the war. Oh, maybe I have the maps wrong? Yeah, I'm like terrified these things are gonna jump scare me now. Oh, we got the whiplash. No! Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. No! Yo, I think I just saw a secret passage on accident. Oh, never mind. It wasn't a secret passage. Yo, the gold ones. Oh. My look sensitivity is so low. Nice. Yo, how do I get to that? What is that? That's a nether. Okay, there's like an entry point down there somehow. Looks like a gold one. Mannequins, oh ma Wait, what are they doing? Are they fighting up here? No, they're just like making fists at each other. Whoa! Whoa, okay, Gutterman. Let's take a shield. Does he have like... Oh, okay, I see how he works. Never mind. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, so you cannot get close to him. Holy crap. Those guys pack a serious punch. What is this thing on his back? It's like a maybe a... Kind of looks like a coffin, but it could be like where he stores his ammo. Oh, oh, oh. I did not expect to see the gutterman so early. Oh, wait a minute. This is the door. Oh, shit. Okay, here we are. Can I step on that? Yes, I can. Light up the night. Let's take a quick look around using this guy. I think we got a landmine over there, maybe? The bell tower. With Benjamin! Okay, Gutterman shield can be broken with the knuckle blaster, swap bombs. Okay. Okay, I don't know how well explosives work against these guys. Oh my god. Okay, he actually just got destroyed. Oh, nice try, bitch. Nice, okay, holy crap. There was two of them there. I didn't... Oh, okay, we got a... Th what was that? Oh my god! Okay. The clock tower has fallen. Can I get over there? Or wait, this looks like it eventually leads over there. Okay, we are in the clock tower. Whoa, hello. That was a powerful punch. Okay. Let's get up here. Little overkill, but do it for the memes, right? Did you uh, fall down here, little buddy? Where'd he go? 
Okay, he's dead. Benjamin! We got two bogeys inbound. Oh my goodness. Okay, so once they drop the shield, you can't really get close to them. What, do we got like a trench down here? Okay. Looks like it will eventually lead us to there, it looks like. We got to have a random tree of life thing way over there. Yo, it looks like it's glowing, like there's like there's like I should go to it or something. Huh. Alright, we are underground in the bunker. Yo, I'm still like stoked about seeing that minotaur. That was dope. What do we got going on over here? Some train station. Exit. Okay. I hear a... Oh, I missed him. Oh, he got sanded at the perfect time. Perfect time for him. I'm stuck! God damn, okay. Here we go. Ah, bitch. There we go. The gutterman definitely add a new dynamic. Yo, there's like, why would they just randomly have this? Did something spawn right here? Must have. Oh, hello. There we go, nice. Exit. Closed. Oh, nice, okay. We're gonna need a bigger, okay, a bigger bomb needed. We traveling. Benjamin, we will meet. Okay, we are stopped. Let's get rid of both their bombs. Holy hard damage. What do we got here? Gate control. Whoa. Oh, okay. Does this open? Yeah, there's gotta be secret on top, right? Oh, you can get inside. Hell yeah. One, two, three, and then it opens? What the heck? Okay. And maybe this is like the secret level or Prime Sanctum 3? Or maybe it's just straight up a new item. Three. So we need to find three buttons like that, I think.
That's badass, okay. Good to know that's there. All right, something spawned. I dare you. Oh, red skull, okay. Oh, there's three right there. So glad I found out those are parryable. <laughs> Yo, that's cool. It's like little disc. Oh, hello. Come on, boy. Seems like the rocket launcher just decimates those guys. Oh, nice. I can actually touch this red liquid. What the hell is this thing? It's big, it's red, and it's ugly. What is it shooting? Okay, it got destroyed pretty easy. Oh my, what the hell? What is it shoot? It's like shooting homing rockets. It has a tank on its back. I wonder if I can blow it up. Like the uh, street sweeper. Okay, that was like a direct shot on it, so I don't think you can. Okay, so we got another new enemy. Oh my goodness. I did not see either of those mines. Holy crap. I'm so lucky I parried those on accident. It's like a military compound. Goodbye. So got the Gutterman, and then whatever the hell that thing is. Oh, hello, a secret. Perfect. Oh, wow, I'll take it. That actually worked in my benefit. Oh, I almost had it. I almost had it first try. Can't see? Okay. What the hell? Oh my god, that was cool. Payload. Oh, I see what we gotta do here. We gotta get the bomb on that. Okay, here we go. There we go. Sweet. And now we gotta bring the bomb back to that entry point. Wait, I want the skull! I don't know if the skull will do anything for me, but I wanna take it with me just in case it will. Alright, let's go. Take the warhead. No! Oh my god, I just fucked that one up, didn't I? Oh, it stopped for me. Nice. How convenient. Traveling. Prepare for detonation. Yo, this is gonna be crazy. Alright, here we go. What the hell? Oh my god, there's two of them. Yo, that's... Parrying the mines into these guys absolutely destroys them. Okay, here we go. Payload, it's time to blow up. Fire in the hole! Wait, what just happened? Oh, shit. Ba-boom. Hell yeah. I can't remember anywhere where this skull... Yo, these things chirp like the, uh... This, not the sentries, but the drones. He's still sanded. Wait, what? What the heck? There's like a corpse inside of it. That's new information. Why is his open, but this one's not? It's freaking weird. Ch 
checkpoint reached. There's no way I just get to walk straight in, right? Nope. Oh my god, these ones look bigger for some reason. Line them up. Oh, yo, they're dropping. What the hell? Yeah, that works like a charm. Oh, shit. Damn, I can't hit that for some reason right now. Get to the bomb. Yo, that is sick. Okay. Oh, goodness. Okay, I was expecting, like, one final big one. So who the heck are these red guys? It's like a machine. Obviously, they're both, like, machines, it looks like. Holy crap, okay, we killed everything. Don't kill any enemies? What the hell? Okay, I just realized this. This thing's like a timed event. I have to get to this thing after hitting all the gold ones before the gold ones reset. And I guess I can try it an unlimited amount of times. And that's where the 1, 2, and 3 are. Shit. Oh, I would have had it. Fuck. Okay, let's try it again. Try it again. Try it again. We'll get Tome 2 if it is the death of us. Oh, we got it. Nice. Okay. So, that means there's got to be the other ones like this, too, then. Oh, okay. Nice, nice. Oh, wow. And we just get right back out. Okay. So, that means somewhere earlier in the level, there was probably one that I missed. Now, let's get the first one. It's got to be somewhere in the... Yep, here it is. Okay. We got gold ones. Go, go, go. Oh, we got it. Oh my gosh. Yo, there's water in this one. Nice. One. That's cool. They're like little speed trials. There's a checkpoint right there? Oh, okay. Never mind. It just leads right back in there. Oh, this one just leads straight out. Okay. Alright. We found the third one. And it was in the bomb shelter the whole time. Ah, oh, fuck. I need to turn my sensitivity up. Alright, let's restart checkpoint. Okay. Oh, you don't see that shit on Animal Planet. There we go. Oh my god, we got it. That was the third one. Let's go check out this door now. How the hell do I get out of here? Okay. Alright, we got all three of the speed challenges complete, and we got the little refrigerator door here ready to be opened, but it's still under construction. If I had to guess, this is probably going to be a new gun. I highly doubt we're going to get a new arm like this, and I highly doubt that this is going to be a Prime Sanctum door, considering it's nowhere near as epic as the first or the second one. And it would be kind of sad if the third and final Prime Sanctum door was just a refrigerator. At least it looks like a refrigerator, so that's just why I'm calling it that. Oh, well, let's finish this level. Alright. So the challenge for Light Up the Night is to not kill anybody and somehow miraculously complete the level. So we're going to have to figure out a way to get that bomb to the door without getting killed and without killing anybody, I guess. So let's figure this shit out. Another secret. Oh, and a book. Nice. 
Something has happened. It has been days since our reconnaissance has seen a single angel. We know not the cause, but we recognize the chance. We have hid underground from the chaos up above for far too long. Without the watchful eyes of the angels, we will brave the labyrinth and find a way out of this place. If you are one who seeks shelter, take heed. The archive is trapped. A single misstep and reprogrammed protectors will activate. Write these instructions down and follow them carefully if you wish to take refuge on the other side. Write these instructions down and follow them carefully if you wish to take refuge on the other side. Holy shit, let's seriously write this down. Okay. I think we have it down. Holy crap, so do we have like a puzzle up here? I'm gonna get this out. Ooh, I almost didn't carry that. Wait a minute. Holy shit. I can probably grab it like that. Fucking gutter made it relentless. Wait, can I grab it through that? Oh shit. Uh, Mr. Sword Machine, you're a little stuck there. Oh, I can, hell yeah. There we go, perfect. Here's the bomb, lower bomb. Holy lag spike. Oh crap, I don't have the cart here. Get the... Oh. Wait a minute. How did I miss this on my first playthrough? I literally came right up to this thing. I'm gonna parry him so I can get some healing. See you later. What the heck is down here? Oh, nice, okay. Oh shit, okay, I see what I gotta do now. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Perfect. Okay, I don't think I've killed anybody yet, right? Yep, zero kills, okay, we're good. Okay, I think we're good. Oh, I was so scared that that was actually gonna kill me. Let me go down here, and what now? This way? Checkpoint, okay. Wait a minute, what? What do I have to do here? Oh shit. Is this? Oh my god. I feel like Pac-Man right now. Maybe I gotta get to the top of these somehow. Wait, did you hear that? I heard like something kind of weird. Fuck, okay, wait a minute. Oh wait a minute, the code. The code, I have the code written down. Is this, does this apply to this? Let's see. Uh, go to the right. Go to the left. Go to the left. Go to the right. Go to the left. Go to the left. Wait. Go to the right. Go to the right again. They're not spawning in, holy fuck, okay. Go to the left. Um, Right, the right, the left, walking right! Oh my god, holy fuck, that's so sick. Alright, we're on to 7-3. I have no idea what the name of this level is. And let's check out what these new enemies are, actually. We got the Guttermen. Built in the early days of the final war, the Guttermen were one of the first successful experiments in using blood as a fuel source, as well as the first automations to be deployed in wide-scale conflict. Huh. Wait a minute. Its own blood source? That probably explains the freaking corpse we saw on the inside of that coffin-looking thing on its back. Another blood-fueled machine. During the war's first phase, an era of trench warfare, these seemingly unstoppable walls were airborne. Airdropped into enemy trenches, which they would then slowly, and so, oh my god, systematically clear out all opposing soldiers. Choose between mice by the guttermen or running out of the trenches and getting mowed down by machine gun fire. Damn! 
Researchers had not yet found a way to keep the blood inside a machine fresh. So a live fuel source was strapped inside. Kept alive by minimum. Oh my god. Life support before the guttermen were wielded shut. Although publicly, these fuel sources were claimed to be volunteer patriots. Sounds like government. Most were deserters. Battle fatigued return. Oh, okay. So they're basically just taking the people that get fucked over by the war and just using them to further help with the war effort. Forces from far beyond took notice of the cruelty man was capable of and the suffering of these human blood supplies served as an inspiration for the creation of the mannequins. What? Oh, that's right. We haven't even looked at the mannequins lore yet. Inspiration for the mannequins. Let's see what the mannequins got going on here. During the departure of the angels after the disappearance of God, many sinners attempted to escape the violence lair, braving the labyrinth that lay at its edges. Okay. That explains who this book was talking about. It was talking about these people inside these mannequins that lay at its edges, thinking they could find a way out in the absence of heaven's wardens. The fools who attempted would realize far too late that angels were not all that kept them from freedom, as the Garden of Forking Paths is no ordinary labyrinth, but one of malicious intent, overseen with cunning cruelty. Overseen by what is the question? The halls, each similar to the other sense of direction, but just different enough to grant no familiarity <laughs> that's fucked up, would eventually exhaust each escapee, and as they fell into a deep sleep, their metamorphosis begun. Oh my god! Each center was torn apart. So basically, they would have them wander around these labyrinths so long that they would just fall asleep and turn into this, I'm guessing? Each center was torn apart, joint by joint, their broken and shattered limbs shoved into hollow statues. Jesus! Startling them to life as the flesh and blood of mannequins. Holy fuck, that's brutal. The gift of death is a rare privilege in hell, so the sinners who attempted to control their fate now laid the... Oh, okay, dormant in eternal agony, unable to control even their own bodies, which now continue to carry on the same punishment. Oh, wow. That's a fucking brutal backstory, but a cool one. The Gutter Tank. Okay, that's the name of this dude. He looks pretty cool. As the Gutterman single-handedly ended up the trench warfare era of the final war, army scrambled to create countermeasures, landing the creation of more machines of war. Built from the foundations of Guttermen to save time, Gutter Tanks were equipped with highly efficient explosives and arms capable of damaging any... Oh, damaging and destroying any thick armor. Slumbering walls that once dominated the field had now become obsolete. And that would explain why this guy's armed with a massive cannon. As human soldiers had quickly become useless in war, utterly outclassed by machines, they were almost entirely phased out. This led to the second era of the final war, where machines fought machines in a back and forth tides as new designs were phased in and out out of- Oh my god, that's pretty cool. So does this mean V1 was potentially created to help fight other machines? Which is kind of a bizarre twist, so we basically have human-fueled machines used to defeat machines created by humans. Interesting. Ah, oh, damn. Although at first the soldiers celebrated for returning home, they soon, pointless in this arms race, left little to its wake. All resources were used on machines of war. Civilizations had to struggle to survive. Another battlefield, a war of all against all. God damn. <laughs> Conquest leads to war. War leads to famine. Famine leads to the destruction of mankind. How the hell did we... Wow. That's pretty damn bizarre there. There's a lot of holes, a lot of questions to be asked. And we still have something to discover right here. So what the heck is this? All right, now let's finally start this level. Holy darkness. What? What the fuck? Yo, that's... The trees don't bleed! Okay, this is definitely like the suicide forest. Yo, this is sketchy as fuck. What the hell? Shotgun at the ready.
Feed us, we will grow. What? Feed who? Oh, it opens. Okay. <laughs> the music is setting in. Something at the end of the road here. Okay, that doesn't open. Neither does that. Okay, we're trapped inside, it looks like. What the hell is this? Feed it. What the? F okay. Holy crap. Feed. Oh, look at that. It's filling up. Feed it blood. Okay, easy enough. Yo, what the heck are these? Like little blood spirits? What the? F oh, yo, this is the tree. Holy crap. No sound, no memory. What the heck? Okay, three skulls. We need three red skulls, I think. Or no, this one's lit in the middle, so we need to light three trees. Okay, wait, what is this? Under the bridge? Oh, okay. Can I go under there or will that kill me? Oh, it kills me, okay. Started me at the beginning of the level? Okay. Let's do a little bit of exploring here in this forest. Yo, this part of the level is sick. Holy crap. Let's get back where we were. Can we go over? Oh, I thought that was like a demon or some shit staring at me. I go this way. Everything's open to me. Okay, let's do some exploring here. Maybe we... Okay, this way. There's another checkpoint marker. Okay. Holy crap! Oh my goodness! Those guys came out of fucking nowhere. Where you at, boy? Is there going to be another Minotaur? I heard something. Oh. Whoops. There we go. Yeah, this door just opened. Can I go this way? No. I was not expecting, like, a, a flashlight-type level. Okay, here's another tree. There's a virtue. There's two virtues. Yo, can I get this guy's blow? Oh, I can. Perfect. Yo, these things are, like just blood forms of enemies. It's raining blood. What the heck? They're hard to see sometimes. There we go. Okay, that tree has been lit. We have one more tree. Yo, I bet there's a secret up there. I'd be willing to bet on it. And I would have lost that bet. I like the music to this level. Yo, what the heck? I'm just noticing the skybox. Whoa, there's Benjamin up close and personal. Okay, we got like a big old cliff down there. Nothing real special that way. Yo, this it's cool how these are like totally people inside these things, you can tell. Okay, we have red. This guy is pulsating red. And this is where we would have got that checkpoint leading us to this side, so I think it wants us to go this way. Secret. 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 Ooh, secret. 
How do I get to this secret is the question. I'll have to get to it from the other side somehow. Um, what? Holy shit. Wait, what the hell? They're fighting each other. Where'd he go? I can't see anything. Ba ba boom. Okay then. They're fighting each other. That's interesting. Yo, there's the the fuel source. Just trying to see if I can spot maybe an entry point to get into that secret. Let's go check this out. Okay, they're all fighting each other again. <laughs> this is chaos. Ooh, almost jumped into that. She just died. Body parts just like stay littered on the arena. Okay, that should be all three trees, right? I believe so. There's just a head at the top. And look at this. It's like a person getting their back arched and then speared through the spine. Like, holy crap. Alright, I think we go this way. Oh, this is where we came from. Okay, we killed everybody in here. Minefield. No, we go that way. Okay, okay. Holy shit, hello. Secrets, maybe? Ho, 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 that was lucky. Is there anything on top of this dome? This would be a sweet spot for a little... little boss fight or something. What is that? Is that where I came in? What the heck is that? Let's check it out. Oh, there's an invisible wall there. Yeah, let's get back where we were. Okay, we're just here. I know where we are. Little fast mannequin boys. Ooh, secret. Oh, that was the secret that I saw from earlier. Oh, crap. I have to go back around. Uh, well, I guess this one just leads, like, what? Right in here? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't miss anything. All right. The door is open. Into the depths of the labyrinth. Whoa, it's bright. And everyone's killing each other for some reason again. Grab it! Oh, here we go. Oh. Yeah, the the uh, little red entity things are freaking hard to see with all the blood. Goodness, I do not know what's going on right now.
Trying to disarm him. Get up! The gutter tanks are like way more scary than they seem to be because you can't like see the bullet. Disarm him really quick. Where is this gutter tank at? There he is. There we go, we get fucked. Am I supposed to be fueling this tree this whole time? Oh my god, I think I am. There we go, fuel it. Use the red one. Use the red on the red. And I think I got it. Do these guys just infinitely spawn? Ooh. Fuel the tree. Fuel the tree. There we go. Holy crap. I did not realize I had to be fueling this thing. Holy crap, what an epic ending fight there. Let's do some quick looking around in this area before we just leave the level. It's gotta be like a secret. It was just this like ominous music plan. Oh, look at this. Looks like you can get outside. That's like where the rockets came in, right? Let's try it. Nope, it blocks you. That sucks. This blood tree is huge. Oh my god. Big time skewered. It's like a Cerberus. Well, holy shit. I think we are on our way to the fourth and final level of violence. Let's do this. Become marked for death? What the heck does that mean? Wait a minute. What the heck? I saw something yellow. Lo and behold, there's a freaking something under construction back there? How the hell do we get there? Yo, it's a door. Holy crap. Okay. That's gotta be like secret level or some shit, right? There's no way that's a prime sanctum. Holy crap, though. That's pretty cool. Definitely a secret level. So Wait, wait. What is this? Become marked for death. It just straight up says it. Okay, well, I think we found the right thing here. What is this, like a ruby? All right, let's uh, click this button. And... You're the star of the show now, baby. Whatever that means, okay. Guess we are marked for death now. Brought to you by this small interruption. Oof. Oh my god, why is everybody... Oh my god, I just realized what Mark for Death does. I was literally about to say, why is everybody attacking me? But it's like, literally told me I'm the star of the show, so... Holy crap, okay. I see what this is gonna do to me. Big boom. All right, so there's no more uh, enemy versus enemy fire. It's all on me. I am the star of the show. Oh my fucking god. Where'd she go? There she is. And she's fucked. Get buried. Whoa, where did that just come from? Is he on the rooftop? He is on the rooftop. Okay, I just punched somebody else in the nuts. There we go. Not so bad. Not so bad. Yo, look at the little pedals. For what the heck? You sly devil, you. You almost caught me monologuing. Okay, another blood tree.
Which way did he get? Guy or did another one spawn? Where'd he go? Oh, I thought I saw one of those little blood entity things. What are those even called? All right, the tree has been fed, replenished, restored, refueled. Okay, this room's gonna be wild AF. These guys might be a bigger threat than... Oh yeah, that's right, I need to feed the tree. I forgot about this last time, I'm not gonna forget again. Where you at, boy? I heard them all just spawn behind me. Shoot! We flying high up in this bitch. What is that? Oh, it's a gutterman. Here, hang on to this for me. Oh, it didn't let me melee. That almost got me killed. Oh, shit. Uh, thanks for the healing, you little uh, glitched out filth. I'll take it. Where'd he go? Oh, shoot. Melee me. What? Oh, I had the wrong arm out. What the heck just launched me? Oh, it's an air vent. Boom, that was an epic fight. Holy crap. The tree has been fueled. And I think we completed the Mark for Death challenge by beating this level. Let's find out. We did. There we go. One restart. Fuck, that would have been a perfect rank if I didn't die that one time. Oh my god. That's... That fucking sucks. Alright, anyways, on to the next one. Okay, we are on the fourth and final level of violence. The climax. Let's hope it's good. I'd imagine it's going to be good. But first, let's see what the hell these red things were. I'm sure they're in the uh, enemy little messages here. Okay, maybe they're not. They're a mystery. Maybe if I click on mannequins, they'll pop up? No. Hmm. I thought it was going to be this guy, but it's not, I guess. What the heck? All right. Maybe they'll be uh, discovered in a book somewhere or something like that. I almost completely forgot the Minotaur's lore. So let's check it out before we go take on this final level and complete the violence layer once and for all. So the Minotaur, oddly enough, has its name crossed out. Whoops. Oddly enough, has his name crossed out. Is a supreme demon. Okay. Oh, okay. The Minotaur, one of the oldest known surviving demons, was sculpted by some unknown mysterious figure. Maybe a Prime Sanctum 3 hint here. As a gift for the then Judge of Hell, Minos, in an attempt to form some kind of report. Though its creator considered it beautiful, a personalized monument of death and despair. Minos terrified the grotesque creature of his past mistakes and cast it into the Garden of Forking Paths, hoping it would never be seen again. Now the Minotaur is old, and its body failing, falling apart, running blind through the labyrinth in a desperate attempt to break out, its only desire to see the sky for one last time. Big sad. Where's its mace? It had a mace that kind of looked like the Panopticon whenever we battled it. I'm not seeing it on this. Still pretty cool, though. Kind of reminds me a lot of the Hideous Mask for obvious reasons. It has, like, the armor. This is kind of like a demon trademark here. Because, look. Yeah, this is the only other supreme demon I believe we have. Is the uh, Leviathan. So we now have another greater demon to add to the roster. Yeah, this is a husk. Supreme husk. Yeah. Okay. So it's interesting that the Minotaur was added into this. Because in Greek mythology... And we've stated this in a previous speculation video. Minos and the Minotaur 
have some connection. Because if I remember correctly, I almost dropped my controller. As I remember correctly, Minos' wife was cursed by Poseidon into falling in love with one of the family's prized bulls. And so what Minos' wife did in order to seduce this bull is linked up with this master craftsman called Daedalus, who we've also talked about. And Daedalus also has a son who's a pretty good craftsman called Icarus, or Icarus. People pronounce it different ways. I'm not sure the exact pronunciation myself. But anyways, what's interesting about it is Minos' wife used this contraption that Daedalus made for her to seduce the bull, and that's what ultimately caused the birth of the Minotaur, which is a half-human, half-bull hybrid, obviously, right? And in this game, it appears to even go a little further than that to where it's like falling apart and deformity and just all fucked up looking. Honestly, it's pretty terrifying looking and menacing. Very cool, in my opinion. But yeah, it's interesting that they have this here, and it looks like it's split into letters here, like four in the first one and then uh, six in the second one here. So it's hard to say who it's going to be, but it's definitely cool that they added this little teaser in here. I think it's a Prime Sanctum 3 teaser, but at this point, it's kind of hard to tell what the hell is going on in the Ultra Kill universe. Very hard to predict the new Blood Interactive team, as we've all seen, considering the fact that we didn't get the freaking golden arm, sadly, or a new gun, but... The doorways on um, Light Up the Night, where we had to do the three speed challenges, I have a feeling that's going to end up being a gun instead of an arm. Just based off the shape and like how it's presented, that's just my guess. We'll see, though. Just one off-the-cuff kind of take that I think might happen with the yellow arm is I think the yellow arm might be something we earned. Or this yellow arm might be something we earn after defeating the final boss. And why I think that would be kind of a cool point to earn, to earn it and unlock it is because it would give us a reason to replay through the game again with this new arm as a, like, you know, thing to interact with and dominate the layers of hell with. It'd be a lot of fun. Now, what it'll be and what it'll do at this point, who the hell knows? Well, the Minotaur's lore is pretty badass, and it would appear we have one more figure to unlock, and being that this is the final level of the violence layer, I have a feeling we're going to find out who it is right freaking now. All right, let's get the show on the rope. Let's move on. What the fuck? Thousand THR Earth Mover? Oh my! This thing's fucking massive. Like antennas to heaven. Okay. Whoa, my god, okay. Was not expecting flame boys to be on. Oh, look at the meteors falling. Go for a swim, buddy. Okay, we're in like a giant sand area. I gotta get... Okay, we are climbing the Titan. Little air vent. Whoa, my god. I did not think that that was gonna shoot me across the map like that. Okay, we're climbing. Okay, we got a little timed event. What's going on with this? Okay, okay, okay. I see what's going on. Come here, sucker. Goodbye. Wait. Goodbye. Hopefully that actually kills him. Oh my god, these guys got a melee hit from hell. Yeah, these guys are actually kind of scary to fight up close. But they got a mean melee hit that can't be parried. The gutter... Gunners can at least be parried. Oh, sh Oh, I thought that was one of them. Can I get in here? Or is that what this thing hits? Oh, shit! Okay, wait a minute. Piping hot. I'd imagine I can't touch those. Yo, there's like all the gears and shit. Am I not supposed to be here? Yo, there's like people living on this thing. What the heck? Oh, shit. You can play at that game, buddy. Did I just send him off? No, I didn't. Oh my god. Melee me. Oh shit, he did melee me. There we go. He has to like aim the gun up. He's so big. Yo, this is crazy. Okay, so it's like a tower with 
What the hell is that thing? Okay, a lightning throwing machine? Interesting. What is this? Oh, hello. We got some baddies. Flat. Keep forgetting that these guys I shouldn't get close to. Totally, like people living on this thing. What the hell? There's like flesh on the inside, though. A bunch of idols inside? Protecting something. There's like freaking six idols in there. Caution. Oh, shit. There we go. I'm hearing a lot of lightning going on right now. Okay, we are in, like, the city district area. No, oh, great. Defense system? Yo, this thing's bleeding, so I'm attacking it. And if it bleeds, it can die. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh no, this is not good. If it bleeds, it can die. Okay, I think I'm doing good. I'm not entirely sure. What's next? These? Oh, they are, they are bleeding. They are bleeding. Yo, holy crap. Get parried. Can I destroy this thing now? Oh, it just powered off. I probably should be. Yep, there we go. Perfect. Easy enough. Oh, we are now going to ascend into the Earth Mover. A little security system. Okay, that's cool. Holy idols. Wait, flushing interior? Intruder? Holy crap. Okay, is there like liquid rising? Yeah. Yo, that's pretty damn cool. Holy shit. Okay, so this is like a speed challenge. Yo, that rises. Quick, quick. We better fucking hurry. Oh. That works. There we go. No, no. Oh my god, okay. Thought I was dead there. Oof. Oh my god, I'm being thrown around. What the fuck is this? Can I parry that? I don't know if I even want to try. Oh my god. Yo, there's like laser grids. Oh, I can parry it. Perfect. Oh, what the hell is this going on? Yo, there's that thing's idle. Okay, wait a minute. It has an opening, though. Oh my god. This is like some Tomb Raider shit. Is there another one or something I'm missing? What the hell is that thing? Oh, there is another one. Oh my fucking god. Shit. Holy crap, did I just destroy the thing first try? Critical failure? Okay, I'm guessing that timing means detonation. Let's get the fuck out of here. Where do I gotta go? Oh my god, get out, get out. Is that what I have to do is get out? I. Oh god. Destroy quick! Do I have to kill these guys? I think I do. Holy shit. Okay, I think we are on the right track here. The earth move hole, my. 
Yo, are these its legs? They're just slow motion falling. Yo, there's more of them way out into the distance, too. On the way the heck out there. Oh, wow, that was the whole level. That was a pretty cool finale. It's gotta be like a secret up here, right? It's gotta be something. Maybe not. Doesn't look like it. Yo, the Earth Mover. That was sick. Wonder the uh, lore significance behind that thing, considering how fucking massive it is. No restarts. Let's go. Don't fight the security system. Okay, so there must be some way to deactivate it. Okay, so the challenge for 7-4 is to not fight the security system. So we need to figure out a way to deactivate the security system somehow. Boom. Well, hi there. Oh, yeah, there's like a vent way over here, maybe? Nope. Wait, what is that? Oh, wait a minute. I recognize this. Okay, that crane looks like it just broke something. Aha! We are inside the ship from a different direction this time. Oh, we just didn't fight the security system. Boom, motherfucker. There we go. Don't fight the security system. All right. Let's check out the Earth Movers lore, finally. Enemies. I'm guessing it's going to be the little block in here we didn't see anyways. Yep, it sure was. Supreme Machine. Okay. Earth Mover. Oh, wow. Seeing it from, like, this third-person view like this. Pretty cool. You can see, like, the whole city on its back. It's like a spine going up the back of the neck. And I still can't really make out what this is. It's just like some type of lightning rod, I guess. Like a harpoon or something it throws. Pretty damn cool. Earth movers were the pinnacle of the arms race, often called the horsemen of the apocalypse. It took only one to level an entire city and leave nothing but fire in its wake. The last era of the final war had begun. The first machines large enough to house a shield generator Okay, that must have been the thing we destroyed at the very end. Because it did have a shield. I'm not sure if it was the shield generator, but... Regardless of what it was, after we destroyed it, the thing went down, so... These walking fortresses could only be made vulnerable from within, making them the new front lines for smaller, more mobile machines, due to their colossal size. They required both blood and solar power to function. Blood and solar power... Where does it get the solar from? I don't see any solar panels. Maybe it's just some, like, sci-fi shit. When the final era escalated, cleansing the world with fire, the surviving civilizations were forced to evacuate and build new homes on the backs of these machines. That's pretty cool. Mobile cities, just about. As the surface become an inhospitable wasteland, where no flora... Okay, no wildlife could flourish, basically. It's like freaking global warming to an extreme. Eventually, the soot, smoke, and decay from unending global war would blot out the sun, casting the world into the long night. And Earth movers, unable to feed on sunlight, shut down and died out one by one. And I'd imagine that's how they ended up here in hell. They all just eventually died and came here. Which also begs the question, did Earth movers have a soul? War had become entirely dependent on them. Large-scale conflict was no longer feasible. Finally, mankind started to work together to reverse the effects of the long night. Climate catastrophe. Okay, so that's what they actually called the catastrophe itself. The long night climate catastrophe. And so began the new peace. 200 years of war for its own sake ended not with a bang, but utter silence. Oh, wow. Interesting. At the brink of despair, the planet would slowly learn to breathe once more, 
and the corpses of these titans would serve as a stark reminder of just how close mankind was to an apocalypse by their own hand. So wait a minute, does this mean that mankind actually ended up surviving? So basically, they built all these advanced machines to try to kill each other. And the machines became so advanced, they had to use new, more advanced machines to kill those machines. Leading to the Earth Mover, finally. And these guys were so efficient at doing their job that they basically extinct everything that wasn't living on the backs of them. So much to where they blotted out the sun and killed themselves by not allowing there to be any solar light getting to it and by there being nothing left on the planet to kill. So from that point, after the Earth Movers died... If you made it all the way to the end of this video, I certainly appreciate you guys watching it. We definitely have some interesting lore videos already in the works, so stick around for those. Subscribe to the channel if you love Ultra Kill content, and if you just enjoy hanging out with the Prime Souls. Well, thanks for watching yet again, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Peace.